Okay guys, I'm going to show you the rig I'm using. This is my uh, bottom rig, which I use for surf fishing. Exact same thing. Uh, the only difference is I'm using one hook instead of two, okay? So I got my mono leader. I'm using about three feet of mono leader. Um, that's a double uni knot. Of course, you can use a swivel too if you want. But I like the uni knot because uh, the double uni because it's one less hardware I got to worry about. So about one foot down, I'm going to make my first dropper loop, okay? There's that guy right there. So that's the first hook and the only hook. Um, and then about, I would say, two feet down more, that's where my sinker is going to go. I'm using a one ounce. Now for this knot, you can tie it. You can tie any knot you want. It doesn't matter. Palomar, uh, uni knot, um, improved clinch, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to use a uni knot right, right here. These swells are getting big. The tide's going out. So there it is right there. I got about two feet down from the first hook. There's a weight, and then there's the uni knot, and my, okay, there's the, uh, there's a dropper loop. I'm using a two-odd hook, which is about the right size for these guys. Bait holder hook, that is. Just going to thread it right through the eye, pull it around the shank, and there it is. Uh, today I'm using a uh, power bait. Power bait, uh, power worm. They're the seven inch green pumpkin color. They seem to like that a lot today. I was using the Mr. Twister and that wasn't working very well. Just gonna thread it on the hook just like that. You can also wacky rig it if you, if, if you want. If, do it that way, but I just prefer to hook it right straight through the center. Just gonna pull that through. There it is. Okay. And there is my bottom rig. Okay, perfect for bottom bouncing along these rocks and the uh, kelp bed. Okay. First fish of the day. Get him, Lynn. Don't let it be a copper. It's a copper. <laughs> awesome. Woo. I would say that's about a one pounder. Yeah, you got a. Uh, Flyers. Hook is on there. Let me see the bad boy. It's all good. There we go, guys. This is Lynn's first fish. Our first fish for the trip. This, it's just a cool looking fish. It's a nice little. Yeah, this is actually, yeah, you're right. This is the first fish we caught from Charleston. Um, this is a copper rock bass, so we cannot keep these guys, but they are pretty awesome looking. Okay, let this puppy go. There he goes. No, it was right there all along. Yeah. I didn't even know it. Yeah. Yeah, I got him. There he is. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> if I could bring him in, then I would not be skunked today. <laughs> I think.
he went after the seconds. There we go. That's a black rock bass. Holy cow, that's a nice one. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a nice black rock. Come here, buddy. Oh, yes, sir, right there. Yep. Awesome looking fish, guys, right there. Woo! My first fish out of Charleston. I am no longer skunked here. Right there. All right. He took that pretty dang deep. Oops. Okay, buddy. Yeah. I would say he's about one pound right there. Yeah, he's a black rock bass, so I'm going to keep him today. Right there, I'm going to keep him. Okay. Yep. Copper. I would say this rod is broken in. Nope. On the floor. Okay, guys, there's my second fish of the day. Got a just barely hooked, too. There he is. Caught about a pound. No more than that. I'm gonna keep this guy again. Hey guys, I just want to quickly mention that the bottom dropper rig I was using is pretty effective for bottom bouncing. The weight is at the bottom and the hook stays above the rocks and other snags. This is the same rig I use for surf fishing. If you get a snag, your weight will usually break off, thus saving your lure or bait. And remember, if you fish this style, be sure to give your rod tip a sudden jerk to lift up your weight off the bottom quickly. If you just slowly drag it on the bottom, you'll tend to snag up more. coming in pretty easy. Yeah, it's probably the same size as last time. I bet you there's another black rock. Black rock fish. We're just bottom bouncing here, bottom fishing. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Yeah, got him. Yeah, he's not going nowhere. It's a pretty good hook set. Another one, guys. Nice looking fish. 
Yeah, but a little bit bigger than the last one. Right there. kelp bed over there. It's kind of bottom bouncing. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Definitely my my best black rock bass right there. Okay guys, just having a having a lot of fun out here. Bottom fishing for these guys right in the bay. Uh, catching about one, one and a half pound black rock bass with a outgoing tide and using a plastic worm and a one ounce sinker right there. That is awesome. Woo! I'm gonna keep him again. <laughs> 